In this video, uh, we're going to take a look at how to install MongoDB on macOS. So I've got some tutorials planned in the coming weeks that are going to involve uh, using MongoDB. And I actually just bought a new computer, so this doesn't have anything set up on it currently. Uh, so I figured it's a really good chance to walk through uh, installing everything you need from scratch. Uh, for the case of MongoDB, that includes uh, getting homebrew set up and then installing MongoDB. Now there are other ways to install MongoDB on your computer and unfortunately if you are using Windows you won't be able to follow this process. Uh, so I just recommend looking up the, the MongoDB documentation and, uh, and they have details on the different ways you can go about installing MongoDB. So I thought it would just be interesting to do this on screen. A lot of the time when you, you're installing stuff you run into configuration issues and weird errors that you need to get around. So. I figured why not just do this live on screen, we'll try to get everything set up and yeah, just walk through uh, how to do it. So Homebrew is basically just a package manager for macOS. Uh, it's going to allow us to really easily install uh, certain types of software on our computer. Uh, so it's very similar to NPM uh, in the way that you NPM install packages. With Homebrew installed, you'll be able, able to just run the brew install command and it will handle everything for you. So to install Homebrew, uh, just make your way to this uh, page here and you can just copy this uh, command here and then you'll just have to paste that into your command prompt. So we'll do that now, run that. So we just hit return to continue. I have to enter in my password. So it looks like I haven't got the command line tools installed for Xcode yet. As I mentioned, this is a new computer, so it uh, looks like if you don't have that already, it handles installing that automatically. Okay, so the command line tools finished downloading there. Uh, obviously, I edited that bit out, but for me, that took around uh, it's probably five minutes or so to finish downloading and installing that. Uh, so now I just need to enter in my password again. And now it looks like we're getting to the good stuff, we're actually installing Homebrew now. Okay, so it looks like everything's all finished with Homebrew now. Uh, again, that took probably three to five minutes, uh, I think. Uh, maybe it'll be fast if you, uh, Australia isn't known for its fast internet. So uh, if I just run brew help now, we should be able to verify that that's all working and we've got the brew commands popping up here. So that should all be good. So with brew set up, now we can move on to installing MongoDB. And Homebrew can be used to install a lot of things, not just MongoDB, but that's just what we're using it for now. So before you install anything with Brew, you should run the update command. So just run Brew update. And of course we just finished installing it. So everything is already up to date. And then we just want to run Brew install MongoDB. Okay, so MongoDB has finished uh, installing now. Uh, there's actually one more step we need to take uh, for MongoDB, and that's setting up the, uh, the directory where the database is stored. Uh, so what we need to do is just make a new directory by running mkdir-p and forward slash data forward slash db. So this is the default location for the database. You can change this if you want. Uh, but if you change it in this command, you'll also have to change it in MongoDB's configuration as well. And so passing the p command to the make directory command, uh, that will just uh, make sure that the entire directory structure is created here. So if the data folder doesn't exist, it'll create that and it'll create db inside of that. So we'll run that command. We get permission denied error for that. So we'll just run that with the sudo command. So the exact same command again, but with sudo to elevate our privileges. And you have to enter in, uh, enter in your password for that. And then we also want to make sure that our user uh, owns that, um, that directory. So if I run who am I right now, I can see that I'm logged in as Joshua Maroney. So I want Joshua Maroney to own that folder. So it has the right permissions to read and write from it. And to do that, we can use the change owner command. So if, again, if you're on sudo chown-r to make this uh, happen recursively, and then you can either just write your username in here or uh, use a dollar sign and then in brackets, who am I? To just set it to whoever the current user is and then just specify that same folder that we just created. 
And so now to run and access our MongoDB uh, or a MongoDB database, we actually need to run the Mongo server separately. And then we can, in a separate tab, we'll be able to interact with a MongoDB database. So you actually need to open up two separate uh, terminal windows here. So from one terminal window, you'll just need to run uh, MongoD and that's going to start up that Mongo uh, server for us. And then in a new uh, terminal window, uh, if you're using something like iTerm, you can just open up a new uh, terminal tab here. So just make sure to keep that running in the background. And then from this tab, we'll be able to access the database uh, or all the databases by running the Mongo uh, command. So just type Mongo, hit enter. And now we are in the MongoDB uh, world. Uh, so it's been a little while since I've actually interacted with this, but I think we should be able to run, uh, so let's show DBs. And that'll show the current databases that are uh, available. And right now, obviously, we just have the default uh, ones, which are admin, config, and local. Uh, but from here, we could create DBs, run queries, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so we're not going to do that in this video. I just wanted to uh, get everything set up in this video.